Keith Kirby. Uh, Keith uh, has uh, eight years, I believe, at, uh, in North San Juan. Hard to believe. It don't seem that long ago, but uh, uh, it's good to see you again. Good to see you guys. And if you'll let them introduce themselves, Coach, or you introduce them, uh, and then some opening comments for us today. Well, I appreciate it. The eight years go by pretty fast, I'll be honest with you. Or seven, I guess I should say. To the far left, we got Lane Wilhite. He's going to be – all these boys up here are going to be seniors for us. Uh, Lane, he plays a linebacker and uh, what we call a Y position for us, uh, kind of like an old-school tight end, wing back, split him out all, all over the place. To the next left will be Cruz Yates. He's been with us for four years now, a couple-year starter. Plays on the O-line and D-line. To my next left will be Ben Kirby. He is a manager and a ball boy. To my right will be Caden Moore. He's a receiver, DB, running back. And to my far right will be Cooper Smith. Uh, he's an O-line and D-line. Hey, we appreciate y'all having us here. Uh, yeah, this is several years y'all have done this here, and it's always good, like Coach Pruitt was saying. Uh, Good for these kids, good for the area. We appreciate it, and we're really looking forward to getting it started this season, starting Monday. Is this younger Kirby fella here? Is he any kin to Eddie Kirby? Ooh, you know Eddie? Yeah. Huh? Is that yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Coach, uh, I talk about uh, returning starters this year, offense, defense, maybe the strengths of the team coming up for the uh, well, North Mountain. Well, we're returning several starters. Uh, uh, we got these cats up here. We got a quarterback coming back. Uh, he's the quarterback, Landon Keller, uh, started a year, a year and a half for us. Just going to be a, uh, a junior. Uh, we got about four line or three linemen back. Uh, we got several cats that started. We threw them in the fire as freshmen last year that's going to be uh, back with us. We got a year experience and a year in the weight room. And we're excited to see what they can do. And obviously, these guys sitting up here with us, you know, they, they've been in the mix. and and kind of paid their dues and looking forward to what this season holds. Well, Coach, in the past you've had some great success with this football program. Mm -hmm. Last year maybe not quite as good as has been in the past. Do you think this team is ready to step back up and get back up to that level of expectation that they have had in the past? We sure hope so. Uh, you know, that's the plan. Obviously, we want to go out and win every game we can. And uh, uh, we didn't get the results that we wanted every time last year. But, you know, that's last year. That's what we've been talking about. Last year is over with. Uh, it's a new year. It's a new team. Everybody feels that way. It's new for everybody, though, right now. Everybody's 0-0. But, hey, it's, you know, what are we willing to do to kind of set ourselves apart, you know? How hard are we willing to work? Are we willing to show up on time? Are we willing to show up in general? You know, how are we willing to practice? How are we willing to hit the weights? Uh, you know, all types of factors. So we, you know, we're trying to set ourselves apart and improve upon that. Of course, you've still got a lot to learn about this football team, but what are your strengths you feel like going into the fall, both offensively and defensively? Uh, I'm leaning on these seniors we got up here, you know, uh, the ones that's been in the fire, the ones that's got the experience from when they was freshmen all the way up to now. Uh, you, you can't uh, overcome. It's hard to overcome experience. I mean, it's, you just throw cats out there that ain't never been, you know, it's kind of open experience for them. So leaning on the experience is what we got coming back. <clears throat> This is for each one of you players. Um, Coach Kirby's a no-nonsense, hard-nosed guy in the weight room, on and off the field. What's it like being led by a man like that that you know he's not going to settle for mediocrity? Uh, I think it's really good for us overall. Uh, we go hard in the weight room every day. We've been working hard this summer, had a great group of guys showing up day in and day out, putting work in. So we're expecting great things out of this season. I really think um, with him pushing us how he does just makes us stronger overall as athletes and uh, and as people too. Um, like he said, we got a great group of guys coming in and work their tails off every day. You know, just keep showing up and keep working. I feel like he's uh, really pushing us in the weight room and even out on the field. Like he's always you know, screaming at us and telling us you know what to do right and stuff. And uh, I feel like we'll be. You know, if we keep, you know, going on hard and you know, fighting, and Kirby's gonna keep us there the whole time. You know, he'll be, you know, screaming at us the whole time. But 
I think I think we'll be uh, doing good this year. A great group of guys with us. So, yeah. Yeah, Kirby's a good guy. He like. I really feel like he pushes us at practice. Even if uh, one of us messes up, he likes. He push. I push him hard sometimes. Yeah, he does. Uh, he pushes me too hard sometimes. Too hard, too yeah. much. You got bad dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Continue with the players. So, uh, what has your off season been like for you guys? To to as coach said, forget about last year. It's done. It's over. With. Ain't nothing you can do about it. What have you guys done this off season specifically in regards to not just working out like it, you know pretty much everybody does, but what have you done specifically to build yourselves together as a team to come to be a, a better Bison football team? I'd say uh, team meshing, team bonding. We had a lot of freshmen come in and they stepped in. They played a big role for us last year, and uh, I feel like we're more bonded this year. Honestly, and that, that's going to become a key, key factor at this season. And we had a big water balloon fight last night, too, so that didn't, that didn't hurt things. We tried to end the summer with a little fun. Um, I really think that, you know, several people have fought through uh, injury this offseason and some adversities, you know, to whatever extent, but us just showing up day in and day out just helps you get better as a team, helps you be a, helps you be a family, um, helps you just come more together, you know, just be the best you can be together. And uh, in the uh, locker room, like before practice and everything, you know, everybody's in there just hanging out, talking. I feel like that really you know, bonds us together, like the, you know, the, 15, 20 minutes time we got in the locker room with each other before we go out and work out and stuff. Everybody's in there bonding, you know, anybody talking and stuff. And I feel like there's just the bonding and everything. And then, of course, you know, the weight room and being in there with everybody else that you know, working out and stuff and getting better, that really just, you know, builds your friendship. And out on the field, it'll, you know, build up the, um, like, the team chemistry of everybody else being in there. So I feel like that's been good. Like Kirby said, we had a water balloon fight last night. And um, that was just like a – like a team bonding thing to help bring everybody together. And it was fun, you know, but uh, I, th I think that, you know, helps out. You know, everybody's just bonding together and stuff. So that'll be good for this year and, you know, throughout the season. I didn't participate, so. We, we split up into teams and I'll say my team won, so. I'd like to say. That was, that was a lot of activity before the match started, I'll just say that. <laughs> but we couldn't get the uh, water balloons filled up in time. They kept throwing them. Uh, we, Kirby really pushes us on doing extra, and when we get done with practice, you know, some of us, including freshmen, go out and uh, we, you know, run extra laps, throw the football a little bit. I see some of the linemen go out there pushing the bags, you know. So I feel like put and really uh, going in, like what Cruz was saying, going in the locker room and just talking to teammates, really get a bond with them you know, get more comfortable around everybody. I think that's a big part, and it, it definitely helps out during the games, so. Coach, August 25th, I mean, you guys, the bullets start flying early for you. You're playing Valley Head, at Valley Head. I think they got 18 starters back from a team that won a region last year. You know they're going to be physical. You know they're going to be strong. Kind of what I told Coach Bell earlier, there, that there's no room for error um, in a situation when you open up like that. What's your main focus between now and then? Getting in the best shape we could possibly get in, uh, being able to play high-level football. I mean, most of these guys will have to play on both sides, uh, you know. And if you want to play winning football on both sides for 120 plays a game, you got to be in exceptional shape. So that's a big. That's been a big focus, and it's going to continue to be a big focus. And you know, just preaching to take care of their bodies, to eat right, and get ready for the grind. Because you know, obviously the schedule, you know. It, you can look at it one or two different ways. You can sit there and say, it looks tough, it looks tough. Or you can rise up and ta uh, tackle it or hit it right in the face, you know, hit it head on. And that, that's kind of the approach we're going to we're gonna take it. We have uh, no control over the schedule right now. We got That's the way it's going to 
it's going to be that way, and we're going to prepare and do the best we possibly can. Well, Coach, I know you've been at this a long time. What keeps you coming back and motivated every year? Uh, just being around these kids and the relationships. And, you know, there ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like coaching football. I mean, a lot of these guys will tell you that it, uh, once it gets in, it's hard to get away from it. Well, this is for the guys. You know, I, I, would tell you, I know you've said about this, but how do you feel about Coach Kirby? Does, does he really take interest in you off the field, not just on the field, but does he take interest in you off the field? Uh, yes, sir. I'd say uh, anytime I was struggling in a class or needed extra help, Kirby was the first one to be on me. He'd find me and pull me out of class and tell me what I needed to do right. And uh, he'd help tutor me. All the coaches would help me. And uh, I've developed a very strong bond with all the coaching staff this past year. Um, I think one of the things that he does is uh, after every nine weeks, he'll come and get our report cards and progress reports and check them. And uh, if you have any C's or below, you have to do some sort of punishment, um, whether that be bear crawls, running, whatever, sprints, or, you know, just constantly coming and checking, uh, just making sure that we're doing good in school to, uh, to be able to be the best student athletes we can be. Uh, like during uh, during school, you know, I see him in the hallways and stuff, and I always you know conversate with him, as in you know all the other coaching staff, and uh, you know even in the weight room, we're still already doing football stuff. But like before, we're doing all that. You know, I'll go up and have a you know, ten minute conversation with him about anything. It doesn't get matter about football. You know, just you know just about life and stuff. You know, some some stuff you know is pertains to football, but every, you know a bunch of stuff just you know talking and everything. And if I see him out, you know, not even in school or or at practice, you know, I'll talk to him. And so I don't really see him just as a football coach. You know, I see him as a friend and stuff. Not really, that's really good though, but he is a great football coach. I will add that. Uh, not only with the school, he, I think he's also really close with us personally. He know, I, think, I feel like he knows most of our families pretty well. Um, you know, he talks about our, like, he likes to, you know, get with us personally and get bond with us. He knows, uh, he likes to talk. He's playing he, he got our, uh, he has our family. Continue. <laughs> Coach, we'll wrap it up with you. Uh, graduated from North Sand Mountain High School. Uh, your dad coached there at North Sand Mountain High School. How special is it to you to coach at your alma mater? Oh, it's, it's special, you know. It's been special the, ever since I've been there and got to come back. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, I feel like you take a little extra pride in everything you do. And, you know, I want these, these boys to get to experience things maybe you didn't get to experience or a lot of other people in the community didn't get to experience. And, you know, keeps you work ethic, keeps you a little hungry, you know, keeps you from getting complacent, I feel like. And uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Good luck this, this fall. Thank you all.